When you go wild mushrooming the first few times, you really should go with somebody who has the knowledge of them, knows how to prepare them, and is showing you, you know, all the qualities of the mushroom and, and the habitat where you find them. I'm sure you can grow these domestically, but <clears throat> these were caught and caught. <laughs> these were picked in the wild. And then I want you to see this one. This I had I picked them when they were at their height and then just had them here at what I call the batch. Our, our place on the water here. And as you can see there's a lot of water. A lot of water. So I think they must have a lot. See how delicate that mold is. It's almost like the above ground version of, of coral. I have to say, when you really get close to it, it looks like cubes. And then I want to really come up close and personal to the cap. <clears throat> when you're identifying mushrooms, you're looking at caps and stems. And just for comparison, I'm going to 